Hey, good morning, and how are you guys doing? I hope amazing. So it's a, a new day and a new episode of us working through this book. Today we are going to get through chapter number seven and start working chapter eight. I'm going to get chat up real quick. As you all know, if you watched last episode, we will be killing Trag today. I honestly think we'll likely wound or injure somebody else besides Trag. Just to, you know, make the situation a little bit more crazy, a little bit more uh, realistic. And so, um, that'll be fun. I'm just barely waking up. As you can see down here at the bottom, it is 5 a.m. So, and I had kind of a late but yet good night, to be honest. I went to a, like, charity event where there was a, a chili competition. I ate six bowls of chili, not full bowls, but they were they're pretty big enough enough that it was six bowls. And just say that as of this morning, I know that that had has happened. So, um, but everything else is good. Actually, that was good too. It's super good food, super good people. So let's get on with this. Um, I am just barely waking up, so I actually do have to kind of look back over everything. Um, I did wake up early enough that I came up with the names of the people that are going to create the event today. Um, the two guys, as we've called it, the two men um, who are from Group X. They're Ethan and Daniel is who they are. Um, I'll get rid of that when we get to this section. Um, this he is, of course, Sam cost people their lives. So here's what I've decided since we didn't realize it was going to be track. Um, that kind of threw a, a loop in everything. We're going to go into these events back here. And we're going to be able to wound anybody except um, Mia or Akio, right? So Trag's going to die. He's not going to be in this. Salvador is not going to be in this. And neither are um, his... His... Um, what, what we, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to wake up. His um, dudes that are uh, bodyguards. Here, his bodyguards. These guys aren't in it. Obviously, these guys aren't in it, and neither is the corporate mage or track. So we can just go down to here, and we can say that we know that um, anybody in this section, I need Salvador for some explaining. Salvador has two men traveling with him. I forgot about them. We have to make up their names too. Don't worry, we'll have to. We'll get there eventually. So I'm gonna roll a dice. I'm gonna pick. These guys are inconsequential, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight people. I've got an eight-sided dice. Let's make this fair. Find out who, who gets wounded course this morning got my old dice t uh, tower okay so just so you guys can see this is a number two on my fancy dice that I picked um, that makes it fair who was number two Blake is gonna get hurt okay so Blake is gonna be the one that ends up injured this morning That'll be easy. What the crap? Uh, my... I don't know why severe is not correct at all. I'm, I'm not awake enough to spell this morning yet. Let me get awake.
how is my copy paste not working there okay so injured is going to be blake Trag is going to die. So is a random crew member. Um, that we know is going to happen. I need to back set this up. Let's get chapter 8 ready. They're not going to take out the Elven worship in, in chapter 8. Honestly, the aftermath is going to kick in. The, the, the Elven worship is going to probably get took out with the weapons test in chapter number 9. Just reality wise does seem like we keep kicking details back further um, as the writing unfolds. I also need to backtrack and put some more details in the, the you know earlier parts of the book that I haven't started working on. Let me kind of set down here for a second. Well, <laughs> literally starts with I sat down. Well, it doesn't start there. Let's. I just need to back read this much so that I kind of have the flow of our story going and I'm not confused. By the way, good morning, Avalonis. I hope you're doing amazing. This, this is, I sat down only to immediately question, immediately question, to, oh, to be. Well, I really need to wake up, you guys. So what did you and your friend talk about after we left last night, um, I was caught off guard and trying to be witty and play up the situation. I responded, why do you think it was only talk? It, it was just talking. I think only talking would be better. Um, you know what? Okay, I waited to see the responses, getting the reaction I had desired. Then I said, her name is, I think this is Kira, to be honest, but or Kyra. Let's say it's Kyra, I don't know. Her name is Kyra, and she is a telepath. You know what, we could just do a contraction on this. But let's leave it like that. So she had a lot to say. I could see the interest in their faces. Orion was the first to speak. A telepath, well, that's a great asset. No wonder Salvador brought her. Did she tell you anything useful? Brandon interrupted. The real question is, um, did he listen or was Sam too focused on her tangibles? I had focused on Kyra, but instead, but I had listened. Wait. I had been focused on. Okay. I don't think. Um, that's the right way to say it. Distracted by. This is why we like to go back. Good morning, Fire Debug. I hope you're also doing amazing. Okay. But I had listened, so I told them. I, oh, that, see, good thing we did go back. We're getting some corrections right here. It seems the lady with Accio is a corporate mage. Her name is Mia. And the other two guys, and now we have their names, right? So this is this is handy, because we have, and we'll, we'll switch this. It'll be Daniel and Ethan, so it flows better. Just so you guys know, blah, blah, blah. So it won't be the two guys from the corporate. Her name is Kyra, blah, blah, blah. Lady corporate mage and the other two guys.
too humid. That'll let us set up to explain the, the cyborg guys right here. And I'll just get rid of this who are not cyborg. Because we don't need that anymore. Because we know that they're human. We know that they're Daniel and Ethan are not trusted by any of them. Uh, Kyra said that Akio was feeding them information, but she did not say why, just that his bodyguards and the mage were okay with feeding them information. Okay, not trusted by any of them. That's going to be a period right there. Boom, boom. Kyra said that Akio was feeding them information, but she did not say why. Just that his bodyguards and bodyguards and the mages were watching them, and he did not trust them at all. Orion's face turned serious. So why do you think Akio brought them? He asked. Don't you think with this, this we could go back here? Right? O Oren's face turned serious as he asked, so why do you think Akio brought them? Along. I thought about it for a bit, then replied, I have no clue. Kyra said it seemed that Akio was playing some game with them, feeding them information, even though he clearly does not trust them. Zack and Sarah, Sarah gathered up their stuff as they finished breakfast. Boom. That's going to be a comma. Boom. I don't know what I had done wrong there, but let's... Oh. We need that. That needs to be there. Okay. I have no idea. Kyra said it seemed that Akio was playing some game with them, feeding them information, even though he clearly does not trust them. Zack and Sarah gathered up their stuff as they finished breakfast. Then Zack looked at me and said, well, you better watch them. You got us all involved in this, so you need to do what you what you need to to make sure we all stay safe. Uh, stay safe. Well, you better watch them. I don't like this this piece of dialogue right here. It's not perfect. It doesn't flow the way I like, but. You know what we'll say? I'm going to probably come back. Well, I'm going to revise this multiple times, so let's just be honest. We This is rough draft still. We'll, we'll get it in revision and stuff like that. Then he and Sarah headed off. Don't really like he there either. headed off in what looked to be the direction of the ship's gym. I sat finishing my meal with Brandon, Blake, and Orion. Oren, sorry. I don't know why I keep on calling him Orion. None of us talking. Then Blake and Orion got up to leave. Blake looked at me and said, you really do need to make sure to keep an eye on them. I brought my brother Troby with us. 
So just make sure you do your part to make sure we all stay safe. You should be able to use your technopathic abilities. Uh, you know what? I don't think we have to define that out. Do you guys? Hey, Avalonis, good morning. Let me let me make sure to... Well, it records it in the little thing. Um, I'll make sure to, to be on later today. By the way, you guys on Entropia, so if you guys want to claim stuff and stuff, I'll be on there this afternoon just hanging out and crafting and stuff. So, that'll make that easier for y'all. Okay, Orion got up to leave. Blake looked at me. We already got through that. I don't really like the dialogue there either, but... Psh. Do you guys feel that we need to have... You should be able to use your technopathic abilities? Or let's just get that taken care of in, in the actual stuff. Okay. Okay. You should be able to link into the ship systems to use the ship to watch them without them knowing that 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 works i'm okay with that okay so now we are where we are and we need to set this up okay let's get on with this let's get some people dead and injured okay Sam did this. That's already taken care of. And Sam's friends have asked him officially to keep an eye on them. That's taken care of, right? Is everybody gone now from the table? Okay, so we've got everybody heading in the way of the ship's gym. Possessives on all these ships, not ships as in like plural, right? That, that makes sense. Right on. Slowly waking up so this will flow a little better in a minute. By the way, I hope you're all having just an amazing morning. My morning is going pretty good.
Boom, boom. Which you know he did because he insinuated it. When I had decided to... Okay, I gathered my thoughts to explain, saying, well, yes, I just wanted to get a rise out of them. Boom. Agreed. Okay, I interrupted. You were being a braggart just as much as trying to get a rise. It's fine, just...
Not really sure what to say here because I, I don't have perspective of that situation. Of, you know, being called out by a psychic girl for one. Or the perspective of the psychic girl, but... I really, uh, I'm thinking that this, this little section here, I'm going to want to rewrite, just to be honest. Let's move forward from this anyway. Um, Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We've got that fixed. We've got that fixed. Okay. Let's let let's move this forward. I'm going to get this where she arranges to meet up with him later. This actually goes before that, but but right now I'm not awake, so who knows? We'll continuity that later. I'm going to need to back build in a section where they already do some bliss together. So that, that'll that be something that I need to put into my notebook right now, just to be honest. I'm not going to back build it right this second. There's a few different things that we need to back build in at this point. Yeah, boom. Okay. Well, this doesn't need to be there. Meet later. We'll just do that.
I don't think I need to say she walked away, but if, if it sounds weird where I read through this later, I'll add that in just so you guys know. Let me remember their names again. Way back here, Zach and Sarah, blah, 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 Daniel and Ethan. Okay, so now we're going to stab... Make sure I have sound up still. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Ships, that's going to be there. Systems. About to sneeze, so I'm trying to get ready for sneezing. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Okay, I was done eating and knew I needed to make sure to get started on creating a link. Uh, not even started. to create yeah we're just creating we're not even getting started on it I 
walked around the ship for a little while to see if any of the control consoles seemed private enough to be able to work to establish a link. Uh, you know what? Does he carry his deck with him all the time? Really need to decide if we're going to establish that. We can just say direct link. Faster data transfer, ship's main system. the names again, Ethan.
what what would that be called? Okay, so the here here's the situation. This is gonna be kind of a a I don't remember the term for it, but gonna they are feeding those guys information because they plan on drawing the elves in on this cargo ship. Two of those little cargo pods that are external are carrying experimental warheads. The third is set up to track data, well, to target. Okay, I'm not sure what we'd say here. So he wouldn't have been expecting that. Okay, I looked in on Daniel and Ethan to check the system. Okay, so honestly, I'm not going to check in on them. Um, Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, 
obviously we're gonna have to back write some stuff because this is this is gonna get kind of where I have to explain why the psychic girl didn't detect it, right? Try and figure out where we go right here. Okay. Now now we're to the point where we're going to get somebody killed type stuff. Okay, guys? I know that took a second. Took more than a second. Okay, so let's look over this. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff to build into a situation where we've got him trying to pay attention to those guys. Um, boom, boom. So she's got to show up, and they're gonna go get access to the to the medical bay. Then these guys are gonna kill somebody. Uh, you know what? I can just say. I'm going to get him access to that AI. So that he has something to do. You know, the one that we got in the bar or got access to. That's going to be his, his working.
think it is clean like I have wrote, but Okay, boom, boom, boom. You know, I, I, this this part is where I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm going to have to back build a whole bunch of this, you guys. Just because we're going to have to establish that they already did some bliss the other night. Of course, she's psychic, so she's going to know that he, he does stuff, ask for some. So basically, here's the idea. I'm going to go over the idea, and then we'll, we'll try to figure out how we're going to portray it in words. So she's going to basically not be the, – the bliss is not enough for her. So he does bliss, but he's not a telepath who's trying to deal with their telepathic issues. She is. Um, so we've got to figure out how she comes to him to say, hey – your drugs aren't hard enough for me, basically. I need you to help me get access to the medical bay where we can get something harder. That's where they're going to go. They're going to do the harder stuff. I'm going to write the word sex scene. I'm not going to write the sex scene because we're just not writing a sex scene. Um, because I'm live on Twitch and it goes on YouTube and I don't want edited. In the revision, though, the scene will actually be put in. Hot spicy, by the way. Uh, during, while he's distracted, being high with her in the medical bay, and uh, by her uh, stuff, her throwdown, that's when these two men are going to do all of this. Does that make sense, everybody? So now... If we need to, we just put down the idea and we move forward, period, because we're moving forward into this today, no matter what. And then we'll move further. The aftermath is going to be the next chapter. This corporate mage is going to probably be the one that takes care of, of uh, some of the situation. Obviously, we'll pick which one of the men dies immediately. Which one gets the message off to the elf group three? Okay, let's get this 
this written. Kyra arrived. I, I invited her in and we sat down. I'm really not sure how this conversation would go. Let's let's really go over this. Kyra arrived, I invited her in. I think we can just go like this, comma getting out some bliss for us to do before we went out to walk around and hang out. platitudes and crap, right? What would this guy be saying? Okay, boom, boom.
Okay, now now we're gonna just blunt ask, right? That way she's not even asking him, right? He, he proses it, then she just lets him know. Yeah. I could tell there was something weighing on her mind, so I decided to ask. Okay, I really did not want to say, but... Boom. I'm going to make it where it's his idea to get into the med room just so
Boom. Okay, so this is how we're getting into the med bay to get somebody messed up, right? Boom. So she even double checks, right? We're not trying to make her the bad guy in this situation. It's his idea, his 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 circus type thing, right? How do they not know? Well, I feel that they should know how to tell me how to correct that. I, I'm doing freaking awesome, actually. I hope you're doing great also, Burrito God. We're on page number 46, guys. We're already to page 46 of the sci-fi book. I don't even know how that happened. Holy crap. And I have all kinds of backstory crap to throw in here. We're about to kill some people after these guys break into a med bay to get high. I mean, they're not going to kill some people. But he's supposed to be paying attention to some stuff. So that's not going to happen, as you guys can tell. Um, so here's how it's going to happen. Um, we're on episode number, I don't know, we're on episode something, it says in the title, guys, um, I, not very long, it's, it's going like boom, it's, it's going fast as heck, honestly, writing a sci-fi book, I'm not gonna say it's easier than I thought, um, I don't know what I thought, I, I didn't have a lot of real big preconceptions going into this so to be honest it's it's within the zone of the fact i didn't think about it beforehand and it's flowing flowing awesome honestly um, this is still a rough draft i obviously have tons of revisions on it to do but uh this act one part will be done within like a week or two and uh, then we've got Act 2 and 3 to be. Then that the book done. It's going to be a pretty sizable book, though. And uh, But it's going easy. In my mind, it's going way easier than I was thinking. Even though I didn't come at it with a lot of preconceptions. So that might be why it's seeming so easy, right? Who knows? Um, I was sure. In fact, more than sure. So I told her, Kyra. I'm pretty sure that's Kyra. Oh, I, I took her H away. Well, whatever, we'll just move on. 
I'm more than glad to help you out. I'm not going to make him gushy about her. Ah, I am going to make him. I feel like he's simping a little bit there, but let's let him simp a little. I'm seriously thinking that, that we're about to cause chaos. Uh, you know what? Boom, boom, boom. Let's do this. Comma. She smiled. I gathered up my things. And we left. Heading to the middle. Okay, boom, boom. Yeah, I figure that's good. Right there. We're at the medical bay. And boom, boom. Hey, I hope you have a great interview, to be honest. I hope that's awesome. Kick butt on it. Make sure that you let them know that you dominate things. That That's the way to go in there. I mean, don't, don't literally say, hey, well, I, you know, I don't know. I might would. Carry some swagger into that interview, man. I hope it goes awesome for you, though. Okay, I quickly established a near-field connection with... I placed it on standby. Then, I don't know why then was in there. Walk to the door and
Okay, boom, boom, the door, and made sure the medical room, the room, indicated a patient was being seen to give us some privacy and time to find what Kyra needed. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I feel that that's good, right? Okay, we're going to establish Hey, it sucks. Good morning. I hope you're having a great day also. It was locked, so I retrieved the security coding from the cabinets, for the cabinets, from the medical robot systems. Okay, boom.
Okay, boom, boom, boom. So we've established he's grabbed two medical nanite injectors. Now those will come in handy later on, I'm sure. Because but we have established that I don't have to worry about back building or where he has a couple injectors out of nowhere, right? Because later on, I mean the whole situation's a mess anyway. I could. Oh, I saw the relief as her mind relaxed. Okay, so this is where we're going to skip past this, just so you guys know, because obviously I'm not going to write a throwdown scene on Twitch slash and YouTube. And so the throwdown scene is going to actually be revised in um, just because I don't want, I don't want to get any uh, restricted content trouble or something like that. So this is as much as going to, Go in here. Boom. Smiled. Saying thank you, Sam, as she pushed her body against mine. Then, in big blue, right here, so you guys know, Throwdown scene in the medical bay. But I think you guys know what I mean in throwdown scene. I mean, like, maybe you guys don't, but I mean what I mean. Okay, throwdown scene happens right there. Now, I think that they leave clothes already. Oh man, boom, boom. No, not launch, lunch. We just want lunch, we don't want to launch it. Okay, they got into the medical bay, they hooked up, they got high. Well, she got high, he hooked up. But basically, he has not been paying attention to these two men working for corporation are uh, working for group X, which is the cultists of the uh, the 
Elven cultists, basically. You know what I'm talking about. This is where we're going to cost some people lives. So, this, he got too high is, is changed. Obviously, it's not he got too high. It's going to end up being that he got distracted by the throwdown and by that girl, right? So, we're killing a crew member, we're killing Trag, and we're severely injuring Blake all in one go. Now I've got to get that witch's name. Okay, let's find our, our witch. She's not a witch, guys. Okay, so Accio is going to be going. Now let's just go to world details. Got Accio up here. Kyra Telepath, super attack, attractive. I, I feel calling her a junkie was too far, to be honest. Mia, the corporate age mage. Okay, corporate mage, Mia. Hold on, I'll blow my nose real quick. I'm going to get the cyborgs' names real soon. That of, it didn't correct that. I don't know what's up with that. Let me make sure we still have sound because I like to make sure we actually have sound. Okay, boom, boom. As we walk towards the galley to get some lunch, Akio, Mia, and the two cyborgs pushed past us. Not them. Commas. Headed to the quarters area in a look of panic. Okay, you know what? Let's skip this down to it. This part. That was supposed to be loud. I don't know what the heck I did there.
Okay, so we've got this. We've got Akio, Maya, and the two cyborgs pushing past them, heading to the quarters area in a look of panic. Okay, we don't need two systems in there. We only need that once. Fire and ventilation systems work to control the situations. The situation. So Daniel is going to be the one somewhere doing the other stuff. Okay, Blake's brother is Toby.
Okay, so we've got that. Hey, thank you very much for lurking. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, Ethan fired for the second time. Into Blake's back. As one of the cyborgs quickly pulled his pa quickly pulled his plasma pistol, shooting Ethan in the side of the temple, killing him instantly. Okay, we've got Ethan is now dead. We've got Blake shot twice in the back. Well, she hit once, then hit once right in the back, right. I'm going to put some back description where we know that there's actually more medical stuff in the medical bay than what I described, like a regeneration tank. Let's go back up there. We'll put regen tank in here so that I know... Um, to put that there's a regen tank in here. Obviously, we just messed up Blake. Okay, boom. Got that there. That's a back build that into. Throw down scene, medical bay, blah, blah, blah. Ethan is now dead. That's a good sign. Now we gotta find Daniel.
Okay, as the smoke cleared, that's a comma, guys. I could see the bodies of, the sh of a ship's crew member and Trag laying torn to pieces in front of my quarters. You know what? Let, let's let just have Trag. We'll kill the ship's crew member up in the other area. I could see Trag's. Okay, I could see Trag's body laying torn to pieces in front of my quarters. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Hope you guys are already having a great day, by the way. I think we're doing pretty good. So we've got Trag dead. We've got Ethan dead. On the bridge of the ship, along with one of the crew members. It seems he was forcing the woman. Let's just say her. She's going to be dead too, by the way. This is going to be operate.
And maybe I yelled to him is the wrong choosing of words. So we've already got... I'm going to have to reread back through this to fix it all up. We're literally at um, 6.58. And in two minutes, there's no way that I can resolve this out. So honestly, we, we're still working Chapter 7. But Chapter 7 is going to be done. Let's just be honest on Wednesday. Um, that, that'll be exciting. Um, obviously, we've killed some people. Cost some lives. We've got... Blake Blake is only injured, you guys, just so you know. Trag, dead. Because he just locked that crew member out of the stuff, they're also going to be dead. Just so you guys know. Um, it's okay. He'll figure that out in a second. And obviously, Akliel knows he's into the ship systems at this point. I'm going to have to do a lot of back riding to cover some of the stuff that we had happen. That's not a big deal. In fact, it's actually a benefit that we can do that at all. You know what I'm saying? Go back in time and explain what should have been explained to explain what we just explained. I love that. Um, that we've got covered. The corporate mage girl is going to torture this dude. I'm going to be honest. Corporate mage girl is probably going to torture the dude in the next chapter once they have him. They're, they're going to take him alive. Corporate mage girl is going to take him alive. Then corporate mage girl is going to torture him with the help of the telepath. To get information out of these guys. Um, we'll recover Blake. Obviously. Everybody's going to be pretty mad. At, at uh, Sam. For a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Trag's dead. That's a bummer. Trag is such a nice guy. Five year friend. Gone like that. I think we accomplished some stuff this time. I didn't actually think it was going to take as much time as. As it did to write this whole. And we didn't even put the sex scene in there. Like the throwdown. We just referenced that it was going to happen there. Like can you imagine if we wanted to write the whole thing in there. It would have been freaking big. Okay. Um, that's where we're going to stop things for today. Real quick. I'm going to check who there is to um, raid over to. I know I'm live. They're all letting me know. Okay, let's see what's going on. Click our rateable button. Let's see who's there for Entropia real quick, because we like to do that. There's been a lot of people that have been very supportive to me, so that's who we're going to focus on rating real quick. Um, Bella has just rated me lately. So I'm going to, of course, raid on to Bella real quick. I want to thank you guys very much just for hanging out and being awesome, to be honest. I appreciate it an absolute ton. And uh, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. On Monday, we'll be back with Diablo 4 doing casual play because we've defeated all of the dungeons. Uh, then Monday evening, of course, Entropia. Then, of course, we're riding on Wednesday. Then Thursday, Entropy again. Then Friday, writing again. So we're flying through this book. Thank you guys for being amazing. Peace and very best wishes.